What's up, degenerates? Right, Mad Morrigan here for Cold Bear Sports. Right, we have a few for tomorrow again. Some really nice racing in Newbury. I've focused on that. And I have got one in Wexford. The horse that I think uh, will run well, um, I think the track will suit him tomorrow. And I think he'll be staying on when enough of them, uh, you know, are crying enough late. Can be very stiff track. Uh, not a bad start to the day. We had the first winner in Carol Burks, Philly in York. Really liked her today. So, uh, yeah, she won nicely. She was a massive price last night. I think uh, return five to one. I think we had a lovely winner on the Patreon service in Newmarket, as promised on last night's video. I had a winner for Newmarket today. Returned a fifteen to two. So what a price! Three points each way on it. I also had canoodled in Newmarket. She ran well. She was just unlucky that a horse came right back to its best. Uh, after a gelding operation but uh ran well and uh then we had well i had one in uh york spy caster very disappointing L look to lose his action again today i'll be leaving him alone uh traveled up like he was going to do something and then just lost his action again like he did the last day in uh nottingham uh yeah so anyway winner to start off the lucky 31 we have two live ones to come let's hope they can uh, get a winner get a win and i really fancy the horse in hamilton so hopefully he'll get it done and the horse in leopardstown is definitely handicapped to win uh so hopefully they'll do well anyway uh yeah lovely to hit them with a 15 to 2 winner and a 17 to 2 winner last night the first one in the lucky 31 and I'm confident we'll get at least one more winner in that. Hopefully, anyway. Right. Tomorrow. In the 210 at Newbury. Fox's Tales. I think he's going to be very hard to beat tomorrow. The ground will be perfect for him. Now, the mile and a half is a, a little question mark. But they, they, they do ride this horse. Like, way... They get moving way too early all the time. I don't know whether maybe... The horse races a bit lazily mid-race and he forces the jockey into pressing on. But they've done it now a few times. So I just hope to ride a normal race, let him find his way, especially over the mile and a half. But I just think tomorrow with the, the, the run under his belt in Sandown, with the ground being on the dead side of good, I think he's going to be the one to beat. So a pint win, Fox's Tails at 7-2. to two. And then in the 320 at Newbury, Baid, the monster, what a touches I had off this horse last year. Uh, told anyone and their dog that listen to how good he was. And uh, yeah, when he uh, took down the good John Gosden horse in Ascot, the horse that they rated the best miler in the world at the time, uh, Palace Pear. But yeah, for me, it was all about Baid all season. He's 1-2 to two tomorrow. He's an absolute cracking price. It's a giveaway at the bookies. I know like people say 1-2 oh, to two is skinny odds. Not for this horse. i seen Jason Weaver and them on the telly today saying, you know, about, oh, this horse is a great price at 16-1. to one and, and this, they're all ship prices. None of the horses in this field. It's a good field. None of them will beat by tomorrow. If he comes back, the horse he is, uh, the horse he was, and he might even progress. People forget this horse went from his maiden win in Leicester on to to like to becoming a world class horse in the one season. So yeah, I don't care what price any other horse is in the lock inch tomorrow. They're a terrible bet. Don't back them. Do not back against Baid. He's a monster and he will win. Um, right, double Baid up with Nashua. Nashua is a filly I tipped up as a as one of a very strong bet on the patreon service when she won the last day nashua is four to five baid is one to two and the two of them tomorrow i can see winning so yeah get on them two in a double and then in the four or in the 504 at newbury sinjari i like the fact they're coming back to a mile i think it might suit him they're claiming off him tomorrow and he's not a bad horse. Like he's a real solid horse. Little unlucky at times. You might think I oh, doesn't win as often as he should. But he came up against very good horses. He came up against the likes of Migration. Finishing second to him. And he was a little unlucky that day. Then he came up against the horse of John Gosden's. Can't think of the name of him. Ren him. Hanoverian or some of them horses. 
ran him to a, a close finish. So Sinjari is definitely a class horse in this race. And with the five pound claimer on board tomorrow, we'll go a pint each way at six to one. And then in Wexford tomorrow, the 450, Clon Guile Way, a pint each way at eight to one. He's a little bit lackluster at times, a little bit leery. Not leery, he just races lazily. But he will keep plugging away, and I think at eight to one, he's definitely a nice each way bet. I would even look at him for the straight place bets if you if you could find a nice price in the straight place markets for Clon Guile Way. I would have a look at that. Anyway, 450 tomorrow in uh Wexford. Right, uh, you know the crack. Lock inch day tomorrow, absolutely massive days racing. And uh, yeah, like I said, uh, any horse in the lock inch is a terrible bet, and Baid is a cracking bet because uh William Haggis will have him cherry ripe. He mightn't be a hundred percent, he won't need to be to beat. You know, I feel like a very good horse is real world. The good the mayor in here belong to Pauline, uh, what do you call her? Um, alcohol free. She's a good mare, but she won't be. She she'll never beat Baid as long as she's alive. Never, and uh, yeah, even whether she's had a run or not, and uh, you know, everyone say, "Oh, that's a fair." It's not. Baid will trash this field tomorrow if he's ready. All right, take care, enjoy, and uh, yeah, lovely to get a couple of nice winners today. Enjoy the sport. Oh, the FA Cup lads as well tomorrow. Chelsea and Liverpool. I was looking at the odds. I've seen Chelsea 5 to 2. I think Liverpool were 21 to 20 the last time I checked. Might have a little bet on that uh, tomorrow. So maybe side. I suppose you. Uh, will I take Chelsea against Liverpool? I'd sooner back Liverpool at 21 to 20 than back Chelsea at 5 to 2. Just. I think with the year Liverpool have had, I think it's it's probably theirs for the taking. But cup finals can be very close as well. They can go and they, they can go draws and they tend to, you know, go past the 90 minutes a lot of times. But I'd maybe take Liverpool at, you know, just a shade above the evens rather than taking the Chelsea at five to two. I might be wrong. Uh well there's a good chance I could be wrong. But anyway, enjoy. Take care.